Namaste. Welcome to the fifth session of our course Yoga and Positive Psychology for Managing Career and Life. We started our discussion in the last session about uh, looking at yoga and the yogic tradition from the lens of positive psychology. So, we will continue this discussion. A quick recap of the last session is that we started our conversation on the different uh, aspects of the positivity and human potential in yogic traditions. So, we talked about uh, holistic life goals, diverse pathways, positive behavior, positive characteristics in the last session, where we discussed the uh, positive strengths described in the yogic tradition in the form of uh, Daivi Sampada. In, the to in today's session, we are going to look at positive events and positive institutions. So, in the last session, uh, we used this slide while describing the positive behavior. And in this slide, you see a figure of a human body with the 100 hats of snake, so 100 hoods. In our tradition, it is called Sheshanag. In this tradition, it is believed that nag or snakes are the highly receptive animals or organism in the nature. And Patanjali is supposed to have the sensibility and sensitivity and ability to perceive things and intercept things, which is equivalent to 100 snakes. So, that is why his head is represented with the Sheshna. Coming back to our discussion in the today's session that is about positive events. We describe two things as positive events mentioned in the yogic tradition. Two of these events are sanskar and yajna. Sanskar, many of you must have heard about 16 sanskars, different rituals, different processes being followed at different stages of, uh, of human life. By definition, sanskar is understood as atma shariranya tarinishtha atishaya vishesha sanskara a special virtue or quality that is connected with body or mind is called sanskar. So, if we look at the different sanskars, different sanskars are related to different stages of life. So, uh, Garbhadhan sanskar is conducted before the conception uh, of a life, Upanayan sanskar is conducted in the beginning of education and uh, making the person aware of him or her being the responsible member of the society and family. So, like these different sanskars are offered at different stages of life cycle and these sanskars have very deep psychological and social meaning along with the spiritual sense. So, we are going to discuss these as positive events. So, another very important or rather you can say uh, pervasive category of positive events is in the yogic tradition called yajna. Yajna is derived from the root word yaj that means, deva puja sangha gati karan daneshu or that means, it is it includes worship of deities, uh, unity or charity. So, all these aspects are covered in different types of yajnas. Let us look at sanskar in little more detail. This is also an overview. We are going to have a complete session on the sanskar, where we will look at the positive psychology and the yogic insights about the managing different stages of uh, human life. So, uh, we are going to have more detailed discussion. This session is just to give the overview of the sanskar positive events, yajna as positive event and then positive institutions as family or education systems or positive governance. So, this classification of the 16 sanskar is given by Gautama and that is most uh, popular. 
However, there are some texts which describe much larger number of sanskars as well. For example, one, uh, one text, uh, traditional text describes 42 sanskars, another text describes 30 sanskars. You can know more about it on the website where all these notes are uploaded called dharmaviki.org. So, in these sanskars, the prenatal sanskars are there, there are some sanskars conducted at, at the time of childhood. Then there is a group of sanskar which are related to education. Then a uh, very important sanskar called marriage or vivaha sanskar that is conducted when person completes the education and enters into the life of householder. And then the last sanskar is called that uh, antishti sanskar. Garbadhan sanskar is conducted at the time of conception, even before the conception it is conducted. Uh, for the varavadhu or conducted for the couple who are going to conceive a child. There is another sanskar which is conducted in the third to sixth month of uh, pregnancy that is called pum, uh, pumsavan sanskar. Then the simantorayan sanskar is conducted before the birth of the child. At the time of the birth jatakarma is conducted, after some time uh, Namakaran is conducted where name is given to the child. Uh, Nishkraman is the occasion of taking child out uh, under the sun and that is generally conducted after 3 or 4 months of the birth. Uh, Annaprashan is generally done in the 6th month of the birth of the child where first feeding is offered. Churakaran sanskar is about uh, shaving of head that is a most important ritual. But there are quite a few other things which go along with the uh, main ritual. Piercing of ear lobes is another sanskar, Karanaved sanskar it is called and that is related to now it is connected to the health benefits as well as the social benefits. That whole connection is described in a book the reference of which will come in the later slide. Then there are some educational sanskars. So, these educational sanskars are uh, about Vidyaram that is the beginning of the learning process, Upanayan that is uh, sacred threat ceremony that is the most prominent uh, ritual of that sanskar and Upanayan is related to that stage of life of the uh, learner of a child uh, who is entering in the home of the uh, teacher which used to be called Gurukul. Vedarambha sanskar is beginning of the Vedic study, uh, uh, Keshant sanskar is done in the uh, during the education period, Samavartan sanskar is conducted at the end of education. So, it is like a convocation and all these mantras are given and in these mantras we come to know what is the world view being prescribed in these in this process of sanskar. We also come to know that what is the how the expectation from the child is conveyed through different rituals and different uh, 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 recitations. Viva is marriage that is Viva sanskar uh, and last one is Anteshti sanskar. So, if you see yogic tradition follows all these sanskars and through these sanskars they aim to manage the life. Through these processes, it is aimed to make a person a responsible member of the family, society, community and country.